The firm, located on Porongo Subcounty, has set up a 50 kilowatt mini grid power station from which it generates the electricity. Engineers at the firm tell NTV that electricity at the plant is generated through gasification and solar conversion process. Biomass gasification is a mature technology pathway using a controlled process involving heat, steam, oxygen, and other products without combustion. Engineer Robert Okello, site manager at the power station, says they use agricultural waste like maize cups, granite shells, and rice hulks. We have two power cells here. This generation plant you are seeing here is an hybrid system of solar and biomass gasification. And the input for our solar bio biomass gasification are agricultural waste. And the most common one we use is rice husk, which is grown by all the community around here. So we take this waste that is generated from within the community and use it to generate electricity to power their businesses around. Engineer Okello explains that they require 240 kilograms of agricultural waste to generate power in a day. Uh, we use 240 kilograms of uh, biomass every day to generate power for the community. The waste is converted to electricity through a biomass gasification process and subsequently connected to customers on the power grid. For two years now, at least 111 households and businesses in Porongo Subcounty have been connected to the power grid. Each household pays 920 shillings for a unit of power through a prepaid Yaka system. David Okumu, the spokesperson of Mandulis Energy Limited, says they get their raw materials from the members of the community at 500 shillings. Waste products realized from the generating farm are also transformed into biochar and tar for fertilizers and briquettes. Now when we remove this thing, we dry them. When we dry them, we take it into the machines that we really pack them and make it to become a charcoal. That we use it in the what? Uh, in the bread, in, in, in the stoves for cooking. David Ojok, the beneficiary, says the connection has not supported their businesses and security in the area. Amy Daniel Ojara, NTV, Nwaya District.